<laughs> Brought a sandwich to the woods, baby. Nice soggy Italian sub. The only problem about having this facial hair is every sandwich just starts to taste like mustache after a while. But it is worth it. All right, let's get into it. So I came out here today. I wanted to kind of do a quick little gear review rundown what I'm going to be bringing with me. Uh, starting out at Amicalola. So since I guess since it's already out, let's start with the obvious. My bear bag. Um, I went with a Hilltop pack bag. The slightly better one, I guess you can say. Seems legit, can't wait to use it. These guys were awesome too. Um, in Pennsylvania, there was an error with some shipping label stuff and shipping address and a little back and forth with their customer service. We were able to get everything squared away. Thank you, Hilltop Packs. Uh, this thing's rad, yeah. Comes with a, well, it doesn't come with, you can also purchase it with. Um, a rock bag and some paracord. A little carabiner jank on there. Good stuff. I went with the flat bottom one. I don't know, I guess I'm bougie, who knows. But yeah, so that's that's pretty much that. Got a loop for uh, tying your rock bag or tying your line to. Let's do your bear hang. And then schwank, up it goes. So next, I guess let's talk about the chair. I gotta bring in the chair. Yeah. <laughs> Got the Helinox Chair Zero, baby. REI, I don't remember how much it was, 100 something bucks, nothing crazy. Comfortable, light. I dig it, works great. Allows me to sit like a hippie without breaking my ankles. My pack. I'm using the Osprey Atmos AG 50 liter. 50 liter because it's not super big and on the Appalachian Trail, you roughly go through or get to towns approximately every four to five days-ish. So you don't really need to carry too much, too much food or anything like that. It's not gonna be cold weather weather, like super cold, so everything's smaller, less Less space to worry about. Cool thing about this pack, this line here where this black meets this gray, this whole whole thing unzips. So that way I can access it through the top or either side if I'm looking for something and I know exactly where it's at. Like here I got my cook system. Uh, my clothes bag. So if I needed one of those, boom, got it. Don't have to start pulling all this stuff out. That's pretty cool. Start with the front. Front pocket. Water filtration. Sawyer Squeeze Mini. Uh, I really only bought this as a backup because I'm really good at breaking slash losing slash who knows what to stuff. Uh, but this is going to be my main Catadine B Free. I've used it before, I have another video on the channel, so you can check that out where I used it in water that actually my dog relieved himself in. He's so sweet. But it worked great, tasted fine. I didn't get sick, not that I thought I would. Uh, yeah, but soft bag can really mash down, kind of stick it in anywhere. Holds a liter, I think there's also a three liter that you can get. I went with the one because, again, I'm not going to be carrying so much water. I am going to be one of those weirdos on trail that brings their Nalgene uh, 
Yeah, that's just what it's going to be, guys. Sorry if that triggers anyone. It is what it is, baby. So this is my main water filter system. And I'm hoping this should work pretty good. Well, I'm not hoping. I know it will. And clipped to my bag, I'm going to be rocking my coffee in a little plastic pour-over system. I got filters. I do roast my own coffee at home. Yeah, so that's that. That's how I'm going to make my coffee. Dry bag number one. This is my charger bag of things, wires, plugs, which I'm going to bring a few. It is a little heavier. Um, my power bank is a 20K milliamp hour anchor. It's a couple years older. No, I'm sorry. It's not an anchor. It's an energizer. I just lied to you. Sorry about that. But it's also wireless charger, so that's pretty cool. My phone is wireless charging, so I can have stuff plugged in and I can have my phone charging. So that's why I have this. I may get a really good anchor one as well, if I can find one that's light enough. Um, I'm just gonna bring some extra batteries for my headlamp and yeah, a bunch of, bunch of plugs and wires. Cook system, GSI, this thing's awesome. Everything fits into this one little thing. This is actually really cool because this is for washing the dishes when you're done. You can, it's all, you know, watertight and stuff like that. So you can get all your dishes washed in here when you're finished. Dishes, I mean like your fork or your spork or your spoon or whatever, because that's really the only thing that I'll be using. So inside here, comes with a top with a little pour. Thing. Got a little collapsible cup. Just grab this from REI. See the Summit, 12 fluid ounces. I like it because it's got measurements on the inside. You definitely can't see that, but trust me, it does. Goes up to a cup and a quarter. So that should make measuring water for my meals pretty simple. Inside that, I'm not going to be using this, but this came with it. I might use it. I'll probably just keep it because. Like I said, I lose and break stuff. Yeah, just a little foldable spork. Fits right in there. It's a handkerchief for a rag. Went with the MSR pocket rocket for my fire. Also a little more bougie. Did get the one with the automatic start and the bigger surface area top thing. And even more. There she goes. It's got a little bowl. And your little 110 gram fuel canister kind of fits right in. So that's rad. Uh, thousand milliliter Pinnacle Soloist. Yeah, so there you go. Pinnacle Soloist. Awesome. Also got that at REI. Next. Tent. Went over this in the big three video. Big Agnes Copper Spur. UL two, two person, sort of two person, more like one and a half person, or one person and two dogs, if they're small. But for me, they're not, one's not. It's gonna be tight. Either way, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, this thing's awesome, set it up a couple times. Plenty of room to sit up in it and move around and kind of sprawl out my stuff when I don't have the dogs. So this should work out really good. Very pumped about that. Another dry bag. Base layer pants, REI. They are 92% polyester. So yeah, these things are pretty warm. They're covered in dog hair because that's just how my life goes. That's all right. I'm gonna be wearing this sun hoodie. These to begin. The Ultra Lone Peak 6s. I'm gonna get a pair of 7s for the next, my next pair. These are gonna be the pants that I'm gonna be rocking. Cools. Very comfortable, stretchy, kind of baggy. I like baggy. I don't do tight. It drives me crazy. Maybe it's because I grew up in the 90s, 2000s. Who knows? I am going to bring a thin pair of sweatpants just to be kind of warm at night or uh, when I'm doing laundry to have some something to wear in town days or who knows what. I'm not going to be fancy. Just a warm pair of sweatpants. Basketball shorts for when it's warm out. Those are nothing special. Just Target maybe darn tough socks 
two pairs. I only have one with me because the other ones are in the wash. But yeah, I wore these out a couple times. You'll see in another video where it's snowing. They kept me super warm. My, my feet usually go super cold first. So these things are these things are incredible. Big fan. I have a pair of darn tough socks, uh, snowboarding socks that I bought a year or two ago. They're so much thinner, but they work. They keep my feet pretty warm too. I mean, my boots are awesome. They they definitely do the job. But the socks are great. I love this company. It's my second or third pair now. I don't know. Got a pair of gloves. These are just the inners from my Burton snowboard mitts. They got the little cell phone touchy stuff, so I can keep them on. They're not waterproof or anything, but they're just, I don't really wear gloves often, so they're kind of a last ditch effort, kind of just in case item. Let's put all this stuff back in. Another dry bag. This one is dedicated to the GoPros. Yes, I'm bringing GoPros and I'm bringing two of them. Kind of old Hero 5. Again, batteries, chargers. Uh, just some extra cords. I'm gonna bring a little lapel clip mic thing just in case. An adapter for the phone. So that's that. I know I can leave it at home and cut down on weight. Just use my phone. Blah, blah, blah. Again, I don't care. Sleeping pad, Neo Tense, Nemo Tensor. Our value of like 4.8, 2, 8, 8, 8 or 2. I don't know, 4 point something. Works awesome, I've used it a number of times. Very comfortable. I only got the regular. I don't know, I could have went with the bigger one, but it is what it is. It'll work fine. Very cool. And my sleeping quilt. Enlightened Equipment Revelation quilt. 950 fill. Uh, packs down, as you can tell, really. I mean, if I got a, another, like, compression bag thing, or look at that. Far down I can get that zombie. I might get a like a totally waterproof compression sack to keep this in because I'm gonna try my darndest to keep this dry. That's why I bought the double wall tent because condensation and moisture are something I want to try to avoid as much as I can. And I'm gonna try to do that as often as possible because I want to be dry. Trekking poles, just some REI ones, the REI Traverse, uh, they are aluminum, they're super light, they got the cork handles, they work great, been rocking them for a while now, just as good as the Lekkies or Lakey, I don't know how you say that word, whatever, these things are rad, I love them, thank you, REI, you're good to me. I'm gonna bring some, just a couple extra tent stakes, a little bit of rope in here, Let's see what we got in our side pocket enough let's head to the top uh just one of these like afghan things i don't know what they're called i was gonna bring a big balaclava that i use snowboarding like a fleece one but i figured this will be just as good i can wrap this up around my face if it gets cold or windy and this will also kind of double as my pillow so i don't have a pillow this is my pillow the deuce for digging cat holes to take poops in headlamp black diamond uh, works awesome this does not have a rechargeable battery unfortunately I don't know if I can put one of those in it probably maybe I don't know if not that's what I got all those extra batteries for it's got three different modes that one kind of more of a floodlight the I'm not trying to piss off any other hikers at night red light for when I need to go take those late night, my bladder's tiny peas. I do not have it yet, but my raincoat, I'm just going to get a Frog Togs rain jacket. I think like the, there's like some Neo here, light, super ultra mega fantastic ultra light one. That's the one I'm gonna get. It's like 50 bucks or something. There are no pants with that one. So I don't think I'm gonna have waterproof pants, but that's why I have the sweatpants for when I get to camp and I climb in my tent, I can change into those warm, comfy sweatpants. And that's my plan. So that is my stuff. That is what I'm bringing. Oh, this is pretty cool. My buddy gave me this. Um, it's just a little, little Velcro button clip that clips to these horizontal straps here. And this 
whoop, goes right around the top of a bottle. You see that? See how dope that is? It clips right on, clips in, and it's hung to your pack. This is one of my, I don't know, my favorite thing. I, I don't know what it is about this. I love this. I love it. It's the little things in life, you know? It's the little things in life, you know? Yeah, you know. You know. See that? And there it goes. Oh, maybe I should strap it to the to the higher one.